everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a small Santa dog sweater or a medium to large size cat sweater. Um, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a small size Santa dog sweater. You are going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a darning needle. You're going to need the color red, the color white, and the color black as well as a scrap amount of a light gray. And those are all four ply worsted weight yarns. So to get started, we're gonna start with the white and we are going to chain 70. So to start my chain, I cross my yarn. You don't need a very long tail for this. And we are gonna chain 70, seven, zero. So you do that and meet me back. Okay, so I chain 70. Now without twisting your stitches, you want to slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, so we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch and we're gonna chain up two. We're going to do half double crochet all the way around to equal 70 stitches. I do not count my chain two as a stitch. So to do a half double crochet, you go yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through all three loops, and that's a half double crochet. Now you're gonna do 70 of those all the way around, and we're gonna do this for three rows. So when I do my first row, when I attach, I attached into the second chain of our chain two up. When I do the next row, I go into the stitch to attach, and this prevents my stitches from going diagonal. So first row is chain, attach in the chain. Second row is attach in the stitch. And you always wanna count your stitches that you have 70 at the end. So we're gonna do three rows of white and do not connect on your third row and meet me back. Okay, so I've done three rows of half double crochet and I'm on the third row. And instead of joining with the white to the other side, I'm gonna grab my red now. And since it was chain stitch, this is the chain row, we're gonna go in that second chain. We are gonna use our red to slip stitch chain up two and now we're just going to continue with the red with half double crochets and we're now going to do five rows of this red and you can snip your white yarn leave a bit of a tail so you can hide it and if you want you can even knot it huh where did my scissors go Okay. Ah, they're there. So here, we'll just leave a bit of a length there. We'll put our white aside, and now we will work from our red, and we're gonna do five rows, half double crochet, 70 stitches in a row, and it's keeping with the, in the chain, in the stitch, along the sides. So five rows, meet me back. Okay, so I did my five rows, one, two, three, four, five, and this is a stitch, or sorry, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain, so stitch. So now we're gonna switch to black, and this is to make the belt part of the sweater. I'm gonna go, I said stitch, so into the stitch, 
I'm gonna grab my black, slip stitch, chain up two, and now we're gonna do half double crochets, and we're gonna do three rows of black. Okay, and then Using the same technique like to slip stitch, we're gonna then do five more rows of red. So, three rows of black, five rows of red, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my three and my five more. So, let's recap, we've got three white, we've got five red, we've got three black, five red. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch, chain up two, okay? Now we are going to be working on the back. So on the back we are going to count out 40 stitches, okay? So we're going to do 40 half double crochets along our stitches, okay? So I want you to do that and meet me back. Okay, so I've done 40 half double crochets and you're gonna see that it's kind of curling around there, but that's, that's what we want, see what I mean? Okay, so um, I want you to work on these stitches for a total of eight rows. So this counts as one row. I want you to do a total of eight rows back and forth on just these stitches and then meet me back. Okay, so I'm back and I've done my eight rows. Let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I'm going to cut a bit of a tail. And very gently, I'm gonna pull that through here. I'm not pulling tight because we're gonna have to pick it out later. Okay, so now we're gonna start the decrease for the chest part and the leg holes. So we did eight rows back here, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down that we did eight rows. Okay, so our first row on the bottom here, since we did 40 stitches back here, we're, go we're gonna have to pick up 30 stitches here because we did 40 and 30 is 70, right? So we're gonna do 30 stitches for our first row. Then we're gonna decrease two, which will bring us to 28. Then we're gonna decrease two, 26, decrease two, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16. So we want to end up with 16 stitches at the end. So first I'm going to show you how to join your yarn. So you go back over here and you're just going to pull your yarn through and then you're going to chain up two. And now we're going to do 30 half double crochets along. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but I caught my tail on that very first stitch. I just do that to help it anchor a little bit. I don't use that though as the only anchor. I also weave in my ends. So I, I am terrified of something unraveling. So I always like go extra mile to make sure that it doesn't unravel. So I'm just going to pick up my 30 stitches here. And if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, it helps me grow my channel and the more my channel grows, the more I'm inspired to make new videos. I had someone message me and comment that they wanted to see this um, Santa sweater, but in a size small, not just an extra small. And then I looked back in my channel and I realized I have very few small sweaters made here. So I'm gonna 
hopefully rectify that. Do you guys see that hair? I see a hair. Um, I'm going to try and do more uh, small size sweaters and extra small size sweaters. Extra, extra small, I mean, not extra small. I already have a bazillion extra small. It's just that my dog, Bella, is the extra small size, so I always make things to fit her. But, I know, not everyone has the same size dog as me. Okay, so sh this should be 30, but I'm going to double count because I was talking... So I never count that chain two as a stitch. No, no, that's just to get us where we need to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yay, we did it right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to decrease, or at least how I do it. So we're gonna chain up two and turn our work. Now, to do the decrease, we're gonna yarn over, go into that first stitch, pull our yarn through. Yarn over again, into the next stitch, pull through. We're gonna have five loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna pull that through. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, yes, this is one of those light up crochet hooks. It was very handy when I was doing the black. I, I quite enjoy these hooks. I have a, a set of them and I quite like them. Okay, so that was a decrease one. So then I would just do my half double crochets until the other end when I'm at my last two stitches. And then this that would make this row the 28 row. And then the next row should have 26, so on and so forth. So do that decrease on each end until you have a total of eight rows, which should have you at 16 stitches. Meet me back once you get there. Okay, so I did my decreases for those rows. See the difference? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this and I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to slip stitch into that chain up two on the back side. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna chain up two. One, two, and make that loop big. Now I'm going over to where I told you to make it a loose pull through. I'm gonna undo that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Slip stitch into that chain two and then this time I'm gonna pull tight okay now what I'm gonna do to finish off this sweater I am gonna do one round in red so we're gonna have we have 40 stitches in the back and we decrease down to 16 so we're gonna have 56 stitches we're going to go around in red, 56 stitches. Then we're going to switch to white and do three rows of white. Okay? And we're going to end with 56 stitches. You always want to have 56 stitches. And just like we did at the beginning, you're going to go into the chain, into the stitch, into the chain, into the stitch, so that your, your stitches go, don't go wonky. So from here... These are all half double crochets. We're going to do one row of red. Then we're going to switch back to right, white and do three rows of white. Okay, meet me back. Okay, so I have done my three rows. Okay. And so now I'm going to leave a bit of a tail and pull tight. Okay. So now we need to make our buckle. So we are going to use gray and black. Okay. So right now here's what we've got for our sweater. 
too big to see. Whoops, sorry. It's too big to see really. But I don't know. Is that better? Okay, so there's our sweater. And so we're going to put a buckle in the middle here. So um, you're going to want to turn this inside out, hide your threads. This is what the tummy side looks like. Okay. I do that so you can see where the arm leg holes are. Okay. So now we're going to start on the buckle. So for me, I was thinking, how could I make a buckle? Well, I'm going to do it with a solid granny square. So I'm taking my black, I'm crossing my yarn, I'm chaining five, two, three, four, five. I'm going to catch that first stitch. Okay, so I made a circle. Now, I'm going to catch my tail and work my tail around the back, okay? So we're going to chain up two. We're going to do, okay, so the chain this time counts as a stitch. We're going to do two half double crochets, and I'm catching that tail. And then chain one. Now we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, three, and we're going to chain one. Still catching that tail, we're going to do three more half double crochets. One, two, three, and then chain one. And then we're going to go one, I'm still catching that tail. Two. And I have to move my stitches over because I'm running out. I don't want to go over top of my old my other stitches. Okay, and then I'm gonna chain one. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain up two. Okay. Okay. Slip stitch. And I know it's hard to see because it's black. Now I'm chaining up two. Now we're going to say that that chain is part of this space, the space that we created with the chain one. I'm going to half double crochet in that space. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky because we have to try and see this. We are doing a solid granny square. So we need to shimmy those stitches over. And here, I'm going to turn on my... We are going to go into that first double crochet or half double crochet and we're going to do a half double crochet in it and then so we should have a total of three double crochets in three double crochets oh. okay so we have we have a chain two and a half double crochet in the corner then we have three half double crochets in three half double crochets. Now we're doing two half double crochets in that next corner. Then we're gonna chain one and do two more half double crochets in that corner. One, two. We're gonna shimmy those over so that we can see this first stitch, which is right there. Can you see it? Okay, so yarn over into the stitch. One, two, three. And then we're doing two half double crochets in that corner. One, two, chain one. And we're doing two more half double crochets in that same corner. That, that's that chain one space. Okay, and we're almost done with the block and I know it's hard to see. Okay, so yarn over, we're doing three, one, two, 
three, now two in that corner, one, two, chain one, one, two, and then we're gonna shimmy those stitches over so we can see. And we're gonna go one, two, three. Now we have we're back to our chain three with a half double crochet. We're gonna put two half double crochets in that space. One, two, and we're gonna chain one. And then changing to our gray, we are going to slip stitch in here. And we're gonna go one, two, okay. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet in that space. Now, We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, hold on. Okay, so that chain counts as a stitch. And then we did a half double crochet in this space. So we're shimmering the stitches over and we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're doing two half double crochets in that corner. One, two, chain one, and then two more in that same corner. One, two, shimmy those stitches over so you can see your stitch. And we need to get seven. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna turn this off, I don't wanna kill my battery. Six and seven. Okay. And if we did this right, when we pull on our center, it should close it right up. Okay, so now we're gonna put two half double crochets in that corner. One, two, we're gonna chain one and do two more. One, Two. Okay. Now, okay, we can cut the black by the way. Okay, so this one we're gonna do one, two, three half double crochets, okay? That's after the the two in the, the corner, okay? We're gonna go yarn over twice. We're gonna go down to that post. So the, the um, second post, we're gonna go around it. We're gonna go do a treble crochet. Go through two loops, two loops, two loops. So now we're gonna skip a stitch here and we're gonna do the next three. Half double crochet. One, two, three. So do you see what we've, we've done there? Do you see what we're making? It's our buckle. Okay, two in the corner. One, two, Chain one, one, two, then we're gonna wanna do seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, then two in that corner, one, two, chain one and slip stitch into the chain. Okay. Okay. So let's put this into perspective. That is our buckle for our Santa sweater. Now we're going to leave a nice long tail because we're going to need it to sew on our buckle. We're going to put the tail through our loop and pull tight. We are going to hide our threads and you want to pull that center close tight. And then you're gonna want to hide the threads. You know, this can get tied in a toe and knot back here. And then we'll hide those threads. Hide the threads on your sweater and then meet me back and I'll show you how to sew that on. Okay, so that's what we're looking at so far. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, meet me back. And if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Okay, so I've hidden all my threads and all I left was our really long one. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that those sleeves, like those armholes, are nice and centered. Okay. And then once they are, we will flip this over and that means this is all nicely centered. So I'm going to place my buckle where I want it. I'm thinking I want it right about there. And I'm going to pin it into place. Okay. Pin it in place. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to take this long tail get it ready now i am working around the camera so bear with me i hope i don't go out of frame okay so what i am doing is is that oh you know what that's not centered i don't like that placement i want the gray to be about the same number of rows, whoa, 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 above and below. So see how it's like two rows here? I wanted about two rows up top too. Okay, now let's pin that. Okay, there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is keeping in mind that I want it the two rows, top and bottom, okay? I'm gonna start catching the red and I'm just catching the top red, I'm not catching the underside, and I'm catching the gray, and I'm doing little, these are called whip stitches. Okay. And we're just gonna whip stitch now two rows right we're just gonna whip stitch this on and we're just gonna do this all the way around so like I said I'm just catching the top stitches and then I'm kind of going in the stitches if I was crocheting for on the gray so like a post and then a stitch and make sure you're not sewing it to the back so post 
And don't just get one thread, like one piece of yarn. You want to get like more than one because you don't want it to pull your sweater. So that's basically what you do. And we're just going to do this all the way around. Okay, kind of boring to watch, right? So I told you what to do. You do that, meet me back. All the way around, okay? Okay, so I stitched it all the way around so I can take out my pins and put them somewhere safe so I don't lose them and step on them. Then I'm gonna go to the back of my work and I just pushed my needle through to the back of the work. Now I'm gonna catch uh, some gray in the back and then I'm gonna do a knot. So I have a loop, I go through my loop twice and I pull tight. And then you never cut where you're not, you're gonna wanna do a few stitches. Okay, then we cut, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have made an extra, or sorry, a small Santa coat, or Santa sweater. Or you can call it a vest, because it has no sleeves. If you need it just a bit bigger, go up to a five millimeter hook. You can go all the way up to a six millimeter hook before it starts to look um, too loose. Um, but yeah, there you go. Doesn't that look cute? I love it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. If you want notifications of when I do a new video, hit the little bell, but it doesn't always work. So watch for new videos from me on Thursdays. Have a great day. Bye now.